A ramble in the fields is all it takes to discover where some great ideas come from. This dandelion seed cluster has been waiting for a puff of air to scatter its seeds far and wide, to carry them to fertile soil. It doesn't take much puffing. For thousands of years, man has admired this sight. Only in his dreams could he float through the air like these dandelion seeds. This dream came true. The parachute was invented to rescue flyers from crippled aircraft. And parachuting became a popular sport. Ideas wherever you look. Man wanted to soar like a hawk who can glide up or down without so much as flapping a wing. Finally, man learned about air currents. A glider can imitate the soaring of the hawk. The glider has neither engine nor propeller. By taking advantage of air currents, it can glide up and down for hundreds of miles. Look at that hummingbird hovering in the air. He doesn't depend on air currents. He depends on his own wings, which can move 50 times a second. Would man ever be able to do that? A helicopter can dart back and forth and can hover in one spot. Its propeller revolves only six times a second. It's not as nimble as the hummingbird. But wouldn't you say it's a good try? The eagle needs sharp eyesight for hunting. He can spot a small mouse even a mile away. Man has always envied the eagle his supervision. At long last, man invented the telescope and these binoculars. They make use of the glass lenses which lend eagle power to his weak eyes. When a cat decides to climb a tree, he doesn't worry about falling off. His sharp claws dig into the bark and up he goes. The telephone lineman has just buckled on his steel spurs and now he's ready for his job. He digs in the steel claws and up he goes. This rat is night active. In the dark, he depends on these long, sensitive whiskers to keep him from bumping into things. In blind spots, we take a tip from the rat. The curb alarm on a car prevents a lot of nasty scraping against the curb. Where do great ideas come from? Man often imitates nature.